And we are underway in Buffalo. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Allen going to look to throw on the first play. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. And out across midfield, down to the 45. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Operating from the gun, Allen. He's got it complete to Diggs, right side. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 12 more yards for him there. It's a first down. Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. Second down, here's Allen. That is caught inside the five. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Cook is in. Touchdown, Bills. Like what we saw right there, good running down near the goal line because that was a really good drive. They were able to possess the ball, have some early success moving it downfield. And then clearly the most important thing, finishing things off with the ball in the end zone. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Jerome Ford. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Start this drive with four, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he's going to have a Browns first down as he gets this up past the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Again, they turn to Ford. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And he's going to have a Browns first down as good running gets him to about the 44. It was a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Handoff up the middle, Hunt. Nice little juke. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Big yardage there for the Browns, 18. Couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Flacco to throw again on second down. Dancing to his left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. 
Well, it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Third down, Flacco needs a decent chunk of yardage. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. And the Bills are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say, no better sight? Well, not for the quarterback to just throw it. It's bad enough to throw And now off to the races, down the right side. And he'll be corralled out across midfield, down to the 45. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Now second and three. Looking to throw. Allen. He'll find Diggs once more on the completion. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 27-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Cook. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the pistol, they run it with Cook. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Allen looks to throw on second down. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns' defense has a touchdown. Well, it turns out it's not their offense who gets them on the board first, CD. It's the defense coming through right there with a the pick six. And I know from experience throughout the week, when you go against the offense, you're challenging them all the time. You're letting them know, hey, don't worry about scoring this week. We'll take care of it. We'll get a few pick sixes and score ourselves. You're just kidding? But how about what he just did right there? Laid it out for the rest of the game. We scored. Hey, offense, can you keep up with us? So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now Allen. Touchdown! Khalil Shakir, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Bills have taken the lead. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. 
The Browns drive about to get started. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football. But something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense. Gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. The handoff to Ford up the middle. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They run with Ford. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their... And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. A truly all-around great effort against the pass today. First an interception. Now getting to the quarterback for the first time in this contest. I think offensively, they just forgot to prepare for him or simply overlooked him in getting ready for this one. Under pressure, they got him again. Tyrell Dotson providing a little deja vu. Back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Flacco in the offense, staying put. They're going to go for it on fourth. They're going to try it. Here's Flacco. He's going to look deep down the field. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And the Bills are going to get the football back. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And with decent starting field position, there may be only a couple completions away from field goal range. And Diggs has it. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. A final shot before half for Allen. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Down the left sideline. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? So remember now, this was all set up by the stop defensively on fourth down. That's what got him this great field position. And then two plays later, they're already in the end zone. Yeah, partner, funny how it works like that, huh? That's a momentum swing amusement park style. Your defense comes off the field, bouncing, grooving. They're fired up, and it carries over to the other side of the ball. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 21-7. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Browns going to see the football first, but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports. With a fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. On the ground, it's Ford. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. This is Ford. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 
66 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. Down to about the 37. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On oh, the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 22-yard line. Up the middle they go. It's Ford, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Yeah, a quick throw there is incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. Operating off play action, Flacco. And he is caught, escapes the defender. And all the way down inside the five to the four. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Ford will score. Touchdown, Cleveland. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does. Allen hit. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone of the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. Throwing his Allen on third. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Now Allen. And he's got his man on the out route. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Two yards to go, second down. Cook on the toss left. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Hey, tight, tight, tight. 
play action. Now it's Allen. This taken in by Kincaid. And he is going to be stopped at the 12, short of the first down. Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. First down would have been nice, but now you get to kick the field goal, still go up two scores. They tried to get it, though, didn't they? Through the pass, got the completion just short of the first down. But you're exactly right. Run the field goal unit out there. Kick it. Put it through the post. Go up two scores. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to make it a two-score game. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, fighting his way into the backfield. Well, partner, I would say just avoid play action, but that's not just been the problem. This defense, they've been getting pressure on all types of pass plays and really piling up the sacks in this contest. Throwing on second and long. Flacco throwing the out route incomplete. That's Ford. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be a third and about 13. Here's Flacco, eluding the pressure right. Open man, that's Cooper. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Operating out of the gun. Flacco. And he's got his receiver, Cooper. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there, as that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. From the gun, Flacco. Buying time to his left. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it, and it's second down. Now Allen. That's taken in by Sherfield. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So Allen's going to look to throw. And a big loss here as he's taken down. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second in a country mile. Allen to throw. On the slant, he's got Davis. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. And if it wasn't over before, it is now. Looking for that one final first down. They got it and then some. 
If they play things right from here on out, that should just about assure them a victory. To throw is Allen. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Back to throw, Allen. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Allen going to go on fourth down. Escaping the pressure right. That's caught by Davis. And he will have a Bills first down, and that should be that. Well, CD, for the losing side, they had opportunities in this one, but big plays just didn't go their way, especially late, and they have to suffer the L here. It certainly felt like that takeaway once it happened and knocked the wind out of their sails, and they just couldn't get their equilibrium back. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.